How's it going, guys? So, um, we're after coming down to Offaly, uh, Bor Offaly. We're after finding this castle, Clonowney Castle. Um, we're after sending the drone up. But if you come through the archway, we only found out when we got up near the door there that somebody's actually living here. Um, the woman's name's Rebecca. We're going to get an interview offer. There's a family stone. We're going to get an interview offer. Um, she knows a lot about this castle. She actually restored the inside of this castle, put a new roof on it, and she's living in it. So, there's just a couple of visitors there at the minute. We'll wait until they go and we'll get a rent of your offer. There's our little cat. And there's Fran. How's it going guys? So yeah. Looking forward to this one. It's amazing. Wait until you see the inside. She gave us a tour earlier on. Um, the inside looks amazing. She done a great job on it. I'm only after noticing there. She has a model of Fran up on the wall. Is it right for you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> Same ones on my stomach, look. Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there's a gargoyle out watching out the front of the castle. It'd be great to say that, wouldn't you? Going home to me castle. That's why it looks early behind it. So we're still out the front. Have to find a little model. Ooh. A little model of a castle. And there's a little. What's in there? little garden Ugh. yeah try not to do that um, dropping your phone I wouldn't recommend it It's a little hot tub. Little hot tub. They're cooking apples, are they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Little hot tub. We flew it up over. It looks like there was a swimming pool up on the roof. No way. I swear to God, yeah. Hello? Hello? That's a friendly cat. Yeah. I keep saying it. We're just waiting for people to finish a tour and then we go in deadly
This is Rebecca here herself. So what Rebecca is going to do is she's going to bring us inside and we're going to have a look and she's going to give us a bit of history and then um, we'll take it from there, okay? Good. And thanks for having us in Rebecca. Oh, you're very welcome. Big step. Now I'm wandering over this way because uh, this way I can point out the history to you. This is the only genuine Tudor castle in Ireland. Now it's not Tudor by period, it's medieval, but it's Tudor because Henry VIII's family actually lived here. And anywhere that Henry's family lived is a Tudor residence. Now at the time that Henry was rather fancying Anne Boleyn, wife two of six, she wasn't royal. So he had seized this castle from the Cocklands, the original castle builders, uh, and he gave it to her father, Thomas Boleyn, making him the Earl of Ormond, making her a countess and marriageable by a king. And that all worked out very well for, um, I believe the phrase is a thousand days. And then he got tired of her and chopped off her head and her brother's head and her cousin's head and her sister-in-law's head. So the Boleyns were leaving England like it was on fire. And these two ladies are the Countesses, Mary and Elizabeth Boleyn. They would be great grandnieces to Queen Anne and cousins to Queen Elizabeth I. So this is a very royal castle. And uh, that's why it's rather posh looking. I thought it should be. Okay, so uh, Rebecca herself uh, moved into this place in 2002, was it? Yes. 2002, and um, she restored this place herself. So basically, she's going to show, up, show us where she fixed up the roof, and um, she's going to show us um, where she stays and does her cooking and everything else. So as you see, see here, sorry. <laughs> I'm wrecking the house on our here. Yeah. This is our dining room here. Am I right? <laughs> well, it's one of the reception rooms. One of the reception rooms. Oh yeah, and just just as I'm talking, what I want to say is this place is actually no charge coming in. But if you want, you can leave a donations, okay? And um, there's a little small box at the door there, and we're going to do it ourselves on our way out, okay? So Rebecca, if you want to lead us up the stairs there. Okay. Here's our dog, Oscar. Oh yeah. Here's the movie star. He's absolutely exhausted. I'll say so. And Oscar has actually starred in a few movies himself. Okay. So as you can see, the place is looking well. As long as you don't look How old is the castle, um, Rebecca? It was, it was originally built in the 1490s. The 1490s, okay. Nice old stairwell. So just going up the stairs here. Well yes. polished by visitors, not me. Yeah. <laughs> now 
it back on. Just going to get you to um, explain about the roof there itself. Yes, this vaulted ceiling, when I came, uh, the stones were hanging down 8 to 10 inches with big spaces in between each stone. Uh, there was very little plaster left. Uh, it has to be repaired with a special lime putty mortar that you mix by hand by the bucket. Uh, then you take an inch, about an inch of the mortar and you put it between the stones. Helps if you have little hands like mine. <laughs> And a piece of rubble and that's all you could do that day and you go all the way across the vault and then you wait two or three days for it to dry and then you do it again and again and again times ten so it took me a whole year just to do the vaulted ceiling then once I got the strength in the vault uh, I spent two more years on the walls above to get them strong enough to hold a roof because the roof had been gone for oh, about a hundred years. So it was a lot of work, but mostly because I had to do it all by myself. You can't hire anyone to help you because then the health and safety rules kick in and the expense of that will bankrupt you. So it's kind of um, slow and steady, an inch at a time, and eventually 10 years, uh, on the structural work. Uh, um, that was nearly 10 years ago now. So I've been, after that I did the outbuildings, the bomb walls, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, the pressure was off. Yeah, you've done so, a great job. Guys, I'm just going to show you here. Uh, Rebecca was telling us earlier on about the fireplace here because we were asking her um, how cold it gets here um, because it's absolutely freezing up here right now. And she says um, <laughs> that she gets through this. And do you want to explain to us, Rebecca, what how you get through with the cold? Well, um, behind that paint picture is a wood stove. So it's not correct for the period. When I close to visitors in October, I move the picture, I light the wood stove, and that stays going until May when I open to the visitors and I put the picture back in front of it again. So every single day has to be uh, stoking the fires. <laughs> and that's not enough. Um, that's another 30 steps up to the private residence where I work and I'm not carrying. It's 50 steps from the ground up. Yeah. I'm not carrying fuel for that. So I have a couple of electric radiators and they're very expensive. <laughs> and uh, so I work on um, a laptop, on a bed tray, on an electric blanket. And I'm very focused. I just, you know, it's, it's the only warm place to be. So I'm there a lot. I have a kitchen on each floor. So I have the main kitchen is here and then I discovered when I first moved in that, um, you know, the midnight munchies? Yep. Uh, Very well. Well, it's 30 steps down to the kitchen and 30 <laughs> back up again. Yeah, I'm not that hungry. Yes. So the first week I put in um, just a small snack kitchen with staples, you know, Ben and Jerry's, microwave popcorn, that sort of thing, mm. just to get you through the night. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so Rebecca, is it okay just to just have a little small look at the kitchen there? Just to show the people or is it messy or...? Oh, it's probably messy, <laughs> but you can show them. Yeah, look. The, the only reason okay. I have a, a curtain is because it's a modern kitchen. And yeah, kind of spoils the ambience. Now guys, so as you can see here... And the, the only reason the kitchen is messy is because you came just as I was <laughs> getting my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's not messy at all to me here, and I'd say the YouTubers will agree to that as well. Yep. It's actually very, very nice, especially in the castle. There's the outside of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
she's been kind of renovating it the last 30 is it yeah, yeah so she she kind of moved into this place and as she said about all the heating and everything else she's kind of used to all, all of this now and um if you ever do travel here to ireland uh, come to County Offaly in Beer, and the name of the castle is Clononi. Clononi, okay. Um, it's there's no admission fee, as I said earlier on, and um, she welcomes you as the way she welcomed us into this place because we actually came in and asked her for permission to fly the drones, and that's exactly what you're going to get after this interview, okay. So I hope you enjoy it, and um. You leave a comment in the the box below and just to say hello to Rebecca herself and uh, we'll take it from there, okay? Oh, and also, I'm only open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, noon to five and any other time uh, by appointment. Now, so there you go, guys, okay? So, Rebecca, thanks very much for your, um, your time. My pleasure. And um, we'll keep in contact with you. And we'll take it from there. Okay. Right. Cheers. We're now we're leaving the tiny little stairwell. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Here we no, you, you're grand. Just make sure you don't fall. <laughs> I say you're used to these stairs at this stage. <laughs> so now.